Hi friends, today I will teach you regarding the fibromatosis. So what is the definition? The fibromatosis is a benign fibrous tumor. It involves the spindle sap, fibroblast proliferation and the myofibroblast proliferation. Now what can be common sites for fibromatosis? I usually develop in the soft tissue, uh, the skin, uh, muscles and the tendon seeds. So that are the common sites. It can develop in the shoulder, back and thigh, anywhere. So for the diagnosis of fibromatosis, just remember these four points uh, that I have mentioned in this slide. Uh, there should be presence of fibroblast proliferation, which is obvious. The second point is it should be well differentiated and bland cells. Uh, there should be absence of ATP and mitosis. It is not seen. And the fourth point is there is a presence of collagen in between the proliferated cells. Now we will see these four points in the high power view. So this is the fibromatosis. You can easily make out that there is a presence of fibroblast proliferation. They are the bland spindle sap. All these are fibroblast. They are typically bland, benign and without malignant feature. Pleomorphism, ATP and mitosis are typically absent. These are the pure benign cells. Now another point is there should be presence of some form of collagen in between the proliferated cell. You can able to see the pinkish collagen in between the proliferated cells. So the presence of collagen is must for diagnosis. So that is regarding the diagnosis of fibromatosis. And now what can be the differential diagnosis? The two important differential diagnosis is the fibroma and the leomyoma. Uh, you might surprise that uh, leomyoma sometimes might look like that of fibromatosis. The leomyoma cells can have bland nucleus and sometimes it can be spindle sap. So how will you differentiate it from the fibromatosis? So just remember that in leomyoma, the cells are having the abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm. Uh, there is abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm. And second mo most important differentiating point is that in leomyoma, uh, there is a no collagen in between the proliferated cells. While in case of fibromatosis, you can able to make out some form of collagen. So this is a fibromatosis. Some form of collagen is always absent, always present. But in leomyoma, it is absent. So these two differentiating point differentiate leomyoma from the fibromatosis. Now how fibroma can be differentiated? And usually the fibroma is having a very much high amount of collagen. And there should be presence of uh, some form of rolled arrangement, herring bone patterns, uh, story form patterns. Uh, there is at least some amount of pleomorphism and there is a presence of mitosis like that of uh, 1 to 3 mitosis per 10 high power fields. So that is regarding the fibroma. So these two are the differential diagnoses. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making the diagnosis of fibromatosis. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I am posting the new video. Uh, thank you very much.